So I noticed the other day that there was some oil leaking and we can see that there's some drips coming down here. It does not look like it's actually coming from the motor side though. It actually looks like it's dripped down from the trans pan because all of this stuff's dirty too. So what we're gonna try to do is uh, take off this uh, trans pan here and it is still full of goop and mud. So it might as well clean that out while we're at it and then see if we can track down what's leaking, uh, fix it. Looks like my exhaust's in the way. I may have to try to drop the hangers in the back so I can get this thing off the rest of the way. The exhaust is held on by four hangers. There's on the front and rear of the muffler here, and over here on the same side, same deal back there. Um, I don't know if I really need this muffler anymore though, so maybe we just cut it off. Race car, you know? Well, way down in there is the plug for the O2 sensor on the exhaust, which I'd rather just disconnect the plug rather than trying to take the O2 sensor out. But I'm trying to figure out where the heck it plugs in, so I gotta go do a little, a little more digging underneath the car, I think. This is where the plug is, right here, that we're looking at for the uh, O2 sensor. I chased it all the way back, so if we're on the passenger side, right behind this corner of the valve cover. So if you ever need to get it off, there it is. I'm gonna try to get that off, gotta set down the camera to do it, and then we can take the exhaust down. Alright, once you get it off, here's what it looks like. Little four pin guy, pretty easy. You just uh, take this clip, lift it a little. Getting it plugged back in might be a pain in the ass, but wasn't too tough to get undone. All right, so we got two 15s, one here, one here. We should be able to zip those off and this should drop. Let's hook up the old impact. Sometimes getting these exhaust hangers out can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. So I just hit actually the shaft of what I'm trying to take off with a little bit of WD-40. Doesn't take a whole lot. And then normally they come loose. our exhaust. I'm gonna cut it off right here. And because that was freaking filthy, I'm gonna take off this plate and uh, this big plate too and do some weight reduction, get rid of some of the dirt that's stuck up in up in here. So let's uh, let's figure out what these are. These look like 15s and then these are maybe like 12s, maybe 13s. So get some uh, impact sockets and start to pull them.
this is what our pan looks like. There's two or three inches of just silt and dirt from when this thing got uh, flooded in here, which no problem. We'll just uh, go dump this out in the woods and or in the trash can or someplace. I mean, it's just dirt. And then clean it up and put it all back together. Time to clear the dirt bomb out from under here. Ugh. There's a lot more up in there. I'm going to put down the camera to get the rest of that. I got everything cleared away and there is not a drop of oil anywhere up on the transmission side of things. It was all coming from the back of the block it looks like, but it's actually dry up here, which is not that high up. Uh, so I'm wondering if that was just residual from maybe somebody spilling, maybe me spilling when I filled the oil up a little while ago and it just dripped down the back because that's where the oil filter is. Uh, but does not seem to be uh, something to be really worried about. I'm going to put it back together, fire it up, let it idle for a little bit, and see if it uh, keeps leaking. If it does, then I'll have a better idea where to trace from. So race cars are supposed to be loud, so let's make it loud. Um, and we'll lose quite a bit of weight off of this thing, too. Uh, time to cut. All right, so I got everything underneath the car sorted back out again and put back together. We gotta slide the exhaust in and then we're gonna have to fab up uh, some hangers for the back because the hangers were actually on the muffler that is now no more, uh, but that shouldn't be too big of a problem. I've got some scrap metal that we can build some hangers out of, probably attach them to the stock locations and be good to go. So here's our new exhaust point, and I've got a mount point right here. So I'm gonna probably just put a hanger right on the bottom, go right off to the side there. Uh, that should hold it up for now. And then eventually I'll take this thing and bring it back. I don't think I got enough uh, free pipe handy right now to do that, but I'll just weld it up, make a straight pipe. Second hanger there, race exhaust. That is until we get uh, bigger turbo and other stuff, but this guy's gonna do a season in stock form first. So looking through my junk stuff, found this hanger. And I think what I'm going to do stick it through here like this. I'm going to bend the tip over so that it uh, can't slide back out because it's uh, just straight right now. And then just bend that back to right here for right now, which should be plenty for what we need to do in the short term. Um, and then just weld it up. So i got to cut a little bit, mark a little there, bend a little bit there, and we're good. Did. Done. Good. It's done and good together. That didn't work for s***. Alright, so bending didn't work, so I just cut it at a 45 degree angle. And then I'll just grind this down, weld it up, and now I got my little hook that I need, and we're good to go.
It's not the prettiest weld in the world, but it'll work for what we need it for. We are ready to weld up. That's just gonna go right there like that. And then, hopefully, when I get rid of that jack stand, it's not gonna fall down. So, let's weld it up. Well, I think I've got some curiosity, like you guys do, to what this new exhaust sounds like, so let's fire it up and see. Might as well. One other thing I want to get done today is put this fender liner in, which I'm not sure if I can do while it's on the, the quick jacks, but I think I can get it mostly in. Uh, when I got the car, it didn't have this at all on it, uh, and that's why now there is mud all the way up to the top of the uh, hood. So wipe this off with a brush, clean some of this mud off, put our fender liner in, that should be good to go.